Okay folks, so the fly I'm going to tie is called the Yellow Hammer. The hook I have on the vase is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to start off tying the fly is uni thread 80 in white. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started now. I'm going to leave myself a bit of space at the front, a few mil. A lot of materials to go on there. Just get a bit of thread down and just either cut or break away the waist tag of the thread. Now the tag is in two parts and the first part is oval silver tinsel and small. I'm just going to come in and take a length of this off. Trim that off the spool. Then just simply come in a couple of turns. Get your oval tinsel caught underneath the hook. Bring your then bring the length of oval silver tinsel underneath your hook. And then just run your thread down and take turns tying this in. Now I'm going to bring the thread down until I'm slightly past the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come round with four turns of the oval silver tinsel going down the hook to create the tag. On the fifth turn bring it up right in between the, the two hooks. Come round with a turn of thread and a couple of turns to secure that in. And just trim this away. Next part of the tag is glow bright floss, and this is glow bright floss number three. It's the red floss. Now, just got on a bobbin holder, so I'm just going to come in and tie this in. Just the length of the tag, nice and tight. Bring your thread back down against up against your tight up against your oval silver tinsel tag. Tying this in now. I'm just going to come up and open turns. Body stub, so I don't need to be too fussy. Then I'll just come in with my whip finishing tool. Just whip finish this thread off. Just remove your white thread. I just like to use white thread at times because it keeps the the tags as bright as possible. So I'm just going to come around with my glow bright floss now at this stage. Nice and tight, and all I'm looking is four turns up, four turns back down, and four turns back up again. Now, keeping the floss tight, come back in with your whip finisher, and just stick in a whip finish. Nice, just pull your floss nice and tight, and then you can come in and trim that away. Now, you got to protect the tag. And I'm going to use UV resin. If you don't have UV resin, just simply super glue, have a dry varnish, and then let the, the whole tag dry before you finish the fly. So I'm just going to come in with a wee tiny drop of UV resin. Don't want too much of this stuff. Just want enough to protect the tag. And then I'm just going to come in with my needle and just spread this around the tag. Just give them good coverage just around the tag just make the fly last a wee bit longer now once i'm happy with your arm i'll just come in and set that with my torch just give that a quick blast just make sure it's well cured okay i'll be enough of that now thread I'm going to finish off with. This is a 12 0 thread in black. So I'm just going to come in and get it started. Just going to take this black thread right down tight up against the tag and just remove the waste piece of the thread. Now the tail. The tail is in two parts and the first part is a golden pheasant tippet. So I'm just going to take one of the bigger feathers off from the back of the collar. Right, I'm just going to come in see all the rubbish at the bottom here. I'm just going to take it away. I don't need it. Now to get my tail, all I do is simply come in with my fingers and just pull everything in nice and tight right up to the top of the tips. And then I'll just come in with my scissors and I'll just remove the feathers that I like to see in the tail so that'll do me there and then I'll just come in take away the 
remainder of the feather and you're left with a bit you've cut and the tips have all lined up now the length of the tail is up yourself but I'm just going to have it the length of the body over the back I'm just going to hold it there and come around with a pinching loop and a couple of turns just to hold it in place for me now over the top of that tippet I'm going to put on some cock haggle fibers and this, these are just cock haggle fibers dyed red so I'm just going to take two pinches of that I'm just going to put this halfway in to the tippet take part of the tail and then just come around with a pinching loop and a couple of turns to secure that in and then I'm just going to come in and trim all this the length of the body just to hurt I'm going to run my thread up tying in these two materials nice and tight doesn't matter if the materials aren't on top of the twist the body's going to be dubbed you're not going to see it now on the way back down the rib on the fly is going to be a silver tinsel and this is just a gold and silver tinsel from Muni Mailor in size 14 so I'm just going to take a length of this off I'm just going to tie this in on my side the way back down so just hold it there length that body and then I'll just take your turn just right back down tying in your rib now bring your thread right down tied up against the tail now I'm going to use black dubbing on the body and the dubbing that I'm using is this black stuff here this is traditional Irish dubbing and black okay so I'm just going to take a small pinch of this out get it dubbed on nice and tight just going to take another wee pinch slide that up now we can get it started onto the, the hook and then we can tighten up just simply run your Dubbing up, stretch it out and tighten up as you go to there. Now I'm going to put another wee bit on, just a wee bit short there, so no big deal, just go in put another wee pinch on. That's grand. Anything that's going forward, just come in stroke it back and get a few turns in front and then we can bring up our silver tinsel now we're looking four turns of the silver tinsel up the body to there nice and tight keeping a hold of your tinsel follow it around with your thread one turn will hold it and a couple of turns to secure that in and just come in and Trim away the excess of the tinsel. Now I'm going to break out some of the dubbing, so I'm just going to come in with some Velcro. Give this a bit of a scrubbing. Just touch it, bring some of that out. Okay, now I'm just going to get a bit of thread down at the front for the materials. Now the wing on the fly is going to be grey squirrel tail dyed yellow traditionally the, the name the yellow hammer takes its name from the favours that used to be used and it would have been yellow favours from a yellow flicker so I'm just going to come in with my grey squirrel tail dyed yellow I, I just want the tail coming back just to make the red and the wing just want sorry the wing just want the length of the wing to come back and meet the the red part in the tail so i'm just going to hold it there i'm just going to come in and get it measured to there and i'm just going to trim this away and then i'm just going to come in and get the squirrel tail as close to the shank as the hook as i can and then i'm just going to come around with a pinching loop 
and then another and then a couple of tight turns to secure that in now we can see what way we're sitting at this point and if you're happy with your arm i'm gonna then come in and tie in the rest of the squirrel now squirrel tail has a tendency to pull out so the best thing to do is to put some varnish on or in this case i'm just using a wee like a super glue onto the thread i'm just going to bring this down over the cut ends so just make the fly last that wee bit longer just bring it down over the cut ends bring it back up again now if there's any access just come in just take it away with your fingers now there's two going to be a throat and the throat comes in two parts first part golden pheasant tippet so I'm just going to come in and trim some of these off and then over the top of that, much like the tail, red haggle fibers. Now I'm just going to come in and I don't want this gold, the golden pheasant tippet coming to almost the, the back of the silver tag. Now I'm just holding up my finger and thumb. I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop and I turn to secure. Now I'm just going to turn my face around see what way I'm sitting here. Okay, I'm happy enough for that. In another tight turn just to secure that in and then we'll come in with some of the red haggle fibers just pull them up from the stem take a couple of pinches of that and then just come in and tie these in now only one of these half the length around about half the length of the golden pheasant tippet just holding them underneath my finger and thumb coming around with a Pinch and loop again in a couple of loose turns. Then we can turn our face around, see what way we're sitting. Just get these in the position. Yeah, I'm happy with that, so I want to just tighten up. And then I want to come in and trim these away. I'm just going to bring my thread down over the cut ends, tying these in nice and tight. And then back up. Now there's jungle cock on the fly. I have two jungle cock, cock eyes here on my desk. So just let me get these up. Don't have to put jungle cock on if you don't have them. Don't put it on. But this is the original pattern that I'm tan here. So you're just seeing the undersides of the jungle cock. Now, I'm just going to come in and create a tan end point. And I want to offer these up to the hook. I just want them to be on the side on the sides of the fly so I'm just going to come around with a couple of loose turns just to hold them in place and I just want to see what way I'm sitting just going to check the length just checking it out here just want to make sure I'm happy before I Secure them in. Right, okay, I'm happy enough for that. So now I'm just going to take tight turns and tie these in right down the length of the head, and then I'm going to fold back the stem. The stems of the jungle cock is folding back, and then just come back up over this the stems with nice tight turns of thread, and this will build up your head at the same time. Okay, just take your time, nice and tight, now we hold the thread tight, we should be able to break these away, the stems of the jungle cock, okay, happy enough with that now, I'm still keeping my thread tight, I'm just going to come in with my whip finishing tool, I'm just going to get that straight in the face for you. Come in with my whip finishing tool and then just tie the head up the same time as your whip finishing. Pull that thread up nice and tight and just trim that away. Now, first coat to seal the head up, it's going to be super glue. Just going to come around just on the head. Want it anywhere else, only on the head. Now, 
that's the wee fly. That's the original pattern. And that fly was first tied and created back in 1975. And it's, it would probably be used on the rivers in Nova Scotia. Um, so like, give the fly a wee go. I know there's a lot to it, but give it a wee go um, and hopefully I can catch you a few fish.